Hello, this is the technology preview of FireRender for GPU. We just activated the support for standard lights in FireRender for GPU and I'm going to show you um, how we support standard lights in FireRender for GPU. And there's a reason uh, why we start with the standard lights, because as you know, standard lights are pretty powerful in 3D Studio Max, and I'm sure everyone has used uh, the OmniLight along with its amazing uh, possibilities to adjust near and far ranges, for example. Okay, I'm going to show you with the, the uh, standard features of 3 Studio Max right now. That's the Nitrous viewport in 3 Studio Max 2013 and you can see we get a real nice feedback of where our lights are and how everything works. So we can adjust here and that's nothing really special but I just want to show you. We can adjust here the lights and we can even exclude uh, illumination so this is why we get the black hole here and we just have in this scene three uh, simple omni lights that's it. that's it. I'm now going to activate our renderer just to show you um, how this works and we are going now to file render for GPU, our active shade renderer, and you can see there's no difference except that the rendering now looks much better and final. So um, file render for GPU supports, fully supports standard lights, including everything you have uh, in here. So if I'm going to adjust here, you you can see we get real-time feedback, all the fancy stuff you would expect from a GPU renderer. And you can move around your lights and everything works as you would expect it. So why did I show you these boring Omni lights? There's a reason for it. It's actually not that easy to support all the fancy stuff of uh, 3D Studio Max. Because 3D Studio Max, especially with the standard lights, is really powerful with all the adjustments and um, settings for light decay and attenuation and all this stuff. So it's really um, amazing what you can do with these uh, standard lights. And we are proud that we can support them even in with our GPU renderer. So just to show you the difference, I'm going to turn off our uh, fire render for GPU and I'm going to now adjust the renderer. So I'm going to assign a new renderer and we're going to use NVIDIA's iRay renderer, which is, as you know, the uh, choice of Autodesk for GPU rendering. So I've turned on now uh, NVIDIA iRay and let's see how iRay performs uh, with standard lights. And as you can see down here, it's calculating, it's calculating, calculating. And remember, I just switched uh, the active shade render right now to iRay. So um, tell me if you can see something. I can't see something and I don't think you will ever see something. Um, so that's the reason I wanted to show you uh, the boring standard Omni lights. As you can see, Omni lights are really cool and not boring. It just uh, is a matter of how a GPU renderer implements 3D Studio Max functionality. Check out our other videos because we have more and more of these little secrets coming and we'll show you why Fire Render for GPU is really a good choice and uh, an amazing renderer.